when you look at your to-do list, there may be some things that you are looking forward to doing and that you do well, that, you, that makes a real difference in your life in your, or in your work. But then there are probably a lot of items on your to-do list that you don't enjoy doing or really don't make that much of a difference or if any difference at all. But you maybe have gotten someone else said you should do it or you've gotten put your, some pressure on yourself. So look at your to-do list with some suspicion whenever you look at it. And here's, here are the steps that I recommend you kind of walk through uh, when you're looking at your, your list of projects or your list of um, uh, tasks that you, you think you have to do, especially when it comes to your business. Here are the words to think about. Eliminate, automate, outsource, transform. So those are the four questions that I ask myself when I look at my projects list or my to-do list. The first question is, can I eliminate this task? As I mentioned, we tend to put too much pressure on ourselves. Um, you might have, for example, you might have some ideas that came to you today, like, oh, I would love to do this, or maybe I should do that. And then you write it down on your to-do list, right? And guess what? Your future self now has to contend with what you wrote down on your to-do list today. So when you look at your to-do list, it's almost like you have to negotiate with your past self, the self from a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, that's, that thought it was a good idea to do this thing that you've written it down to be done now. Well, maybe it's no longer relevant. So I really encourage you to do your best to eliminate as many items from your to-do list as possible because you're probably giving yourself too much pressure. You're doing more than you need to do. So try to eliminate if possible. Now, if you cannot eliminate it, you think, no, it really does need to be done. Then the second question is, can you automate it? These days, there is, especially when it comes to building your business, there are so many tools, that softwares that people have developed that can just make your process, take you out of the, the picture and still get the task done. One of the, um, the tools, the websites that's amazing that I'm, I'm going to start exploring a lot more is zapier.com, Z-A-P-I-E-R.com. For example, with Zapier, I was able to seamlessly integrate PayPal and MailChimp uh, in a way that's more sophisticated than it could have done otherwise without knowing how to code, right? And it's, it's just, so zapier.com, check it out. It integrates a lot of different apps together so that, again, you can no longer have to do some of the things you used to have to do manually whether it's from spreadsheet to calendar, from this software to that software, Zapier.com can do it. Another competitor to Zapier um, is IFTTT.com, IFTTT.com. So check out those two websites for automating um, some tasks that you uh, don't love to do. And then if you can't automate it, can't figure out how to automate it, then the next question is can you outsource it? Can you have somebody else who loves doing the task or who, whose work or job or business is to do that task and whose specialty is to do it so that you don't have to learn everything under the sun. You, have, you don't have to get good at too many, all these different things, especially technical types of tasks. So outsourcing, uh, different people have, you, know, you may have different a view than I do on it, but I see myself as a global citizen and I think that, um, Outsourcing to a, a foreign country, I think is actually a, a good thing for the world because it connects the world, number one. And number two, $5 an hour here in North America or in Europe or in Australia or, you know, is, is, is nothing. I mean, you, you, can, you can't really live on $5 an hour here in North America at, at least. And so, but in Pakistan and Bangladesh, in parts of India, in the Philippines, that is a living wage, maybe more than living wage, because I was researching the salaries in Pakistan, for example, and a senior software developer in corporate Pakistan earns between five to eight dollars an hour, US dollars. And so he or she would probably much rather work for themselves 
for five dollars an hour than work for work for a big company there that they can't control the kind of work they do and so your dollars make a make a big difference and in terms of outsourcing a couple of websites that I really love to use is fiverr.com f-i-v-e-r-r -R. there's two r's at the end f-i-v-e-r-r.com wonderful website to find freelancers from all over the world um, and the other one's Upwork up upwork.com so check out those two sites for for outsourcing and if you for some reason can't figure out how to outsource it and you still really need to do that project or task and you need to do it yourself then the final question to ask is how can I transform the task and um, my dog is just running around <laughs> crazy here how can I transform the task so that it becomes enjoyable for me to do so that I can bring joy and heart and mindfulness to it I've done other videos in my joyful productivity series uh, about about transforming your the, your relationship to, to your work so I hope this is helpful look at your project list look at your task list and now ask yourself can I eliminate this if at all possible because if it's important it'll come back to me again uh, if I can't eliminate it can I automate it in some way and if I cannot automate it can't figure that out can I outsource it in some way if I can't do that then can I transform it in some way now if you are a business owner and you would like some coaching on how to do these things this is one of the things I love coaching clients on so you might uh, consider um, uh, seeking me out for that kind of service if you're interested but anyway if you just run through these questions yourself you will be able to move your spending of your time and energy towards more of what is truly your true livelihood, your joyful productivity.